All right, Cam, let's see if this makes sense for you, my brother. This right here is the graph of cosine from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, with the y-axis being here. So remember, cosine looks like this. And if this is the y-axis right here, then the value of cosine of 0 is 1, so that's why that's there. So it says the region bounded by the x-axis, that's here, and part of the graph of y equals cosine, that's this part here, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, is the two regions by the line x equals k. So at x equals k right here. We have no idea where this is. x equals k is a vertical line. If the area of the region for the left of k, that's what this is saying, so this part here, we're going to call that region A, is three times the area of the region to the right. So we need whatever A is. To make it equal to B, we have to triple B. So A is three times B. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, you need to stop this video and process that. So to find the area from here to here, it is negative pi over 2 to K. It's the X value, lower and upper bounds of integration. And we're integrating cosine. Over here, this is going to go from k to pi over 2. That's what this is doing. If we This one's smaller. In order to make these equal, we have to triple this one to make it equal to this. So this is what you're trying to figure out. Integrating cosine is sine of x. This brings us up here. So this one's sine of x evaluated from uh, negative pi over 2 to k. This is 3 times sine of x evaluated from k to pi over 2. Once again, this 3 is because we need this area to be 3 times bigger than this to make it equal. We have to triple this one. So if we evaluate this, we put in k in here, right here, minus putting a negative pi over 2. Let's just focus on the left side right now. Don't know what this is. Sine of negative pi over 2 is negative 1. You can resort, uh, refer to the unit circle for that. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive. So the left simplifies to sine of k plus 1. k is the angle, uh, the angle which is the x value over here. Over here, we evaluate sine from k to pi over 2. So you put pi over 2 in and k in. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. Distribute the 3, and we get 3 minus 3 sine of k. So now we've got, this is where we are. Trying to get sine of k's all together. So if I add 3 sine of k to both sides, I get 4 sine of k. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get 2 over here. Um, trying to get sine of k by itself, divide both sides by 4. 2 over 4 reduces to a half. To get k by itself, do sine inverse to both sides, and I get k is sine inverse of 1 half. This is asking what angle for sine, it's the same question this is asking, it's going to give us one half for the answer. So here's a picture in quadrant one. Sine is y over r, y is one, r is two. It's a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90. Rate in radians, 30 is pi over six. So what I'm suggesting is that if x is equal to pi over six, then this area here is going to be three times this area here. So I'm saying it is this right here. If that doesn't make sense, I apologize. Um, yeah, there you go.